Hello to everybody. It's a pleasure to be in this second conference in ECTS virtual meeting. I'm Carlos Massora, uh, Business Developer Chief of State Order Factory Solutions. And I'm here to explain you our solutions for structural ceramics versus the, our customers' challenges. Well, uh, we have been in the, in the market for more than 65 years, uh, and we, we find out that the main challenges of our customers are related to the optimization of their installations, uh, the increase of the durability of the refractories for the kill cars, ceiling and walls, and mainly focus on the energy savings. Then, just to explain you a little bit more about uh, Tether Refractories, this is the family company founded by my father in 1954, already 66 years on the market. We have an annual production of 30,000 tons, two manufacturing plants, more than 25,000 square meters of facilities, and we produce extrusion and press refractories. That's very important. We have two extrusion lines and 20 drag lead presses, okay? And three kills up to 1,600 degrees. Okay, uh, the challenges for customers, we make a, a diagram of how we work these challenges to, uh, to focus on their solutions. This is our solutions phase uh, diagram. First of all, we start with the analysis of the installation. Very important to know exactly uh, the kill conditions, temperatures, cycles, maximum payload of the bricks on the kill cars, and if it's any alkalis attack on the atmosphere. Then we identify and talk with the customers with the, with the main challenges and objectives. Those normally go on this sense, increase of durability, energy savings, increase of productivity, and improve of the maintenance. Then, uh, it comes our research and development department. We start to uh, simulate, design, and redesign the solutions. After getting the optimal that we consider, we go to the presentation of the proposal, where we are we are very focused on give uh, the best product with the top guarantees and the return of the investment, the shortest one. Then we get an agreement. We make more simulations for thermal shocks. We make the manufacturing and the pre-assembly. All our installations worldwide, more than 400, have been pre-set up in our facilities. We make a full pre-set up of kill cars ceiling in our facilities to have a real test of everything fits. We invite the customer to come and to see this pre-set up. Then, of course, we make the installation and the monitoring after the years. Installation could be one week, two weeks, one month, or, or, or all, the, all the kill cars to install. And then annually we go and mo monitoring the system. Okay, those are the challenges we mainly uh, found in, with our customers in all these years. Mainly are three types, energy savings, durability of the refractories, and the increased, to, and increased productivity, and uh, optimization of the maintenance. How we scope these challenges with our customers? Then, first of all, energy savings. We're able with our kill car technologies to get up to 40% on energy savings on the kill car. How we make it? We make it the best design of the kill car between press products, extruded products, and insulation top products. As we manufacture press and extrusion, and we have excellent insulation products, we can get a perfect kill car that with the finite element method simulations, we simulate according the thermal balance of our customer. Here you have an example of the thermal balance of a customer where uh, we, we identify 50% of his heat total consumption on the kill car. Okay. Then, how we make that? The process of a simulation is we identify the improvements of the kill car of our customer. And then with the finite element me uh, method software, we run the exactly cycle of the customer, whatever it is, 20, 10, or 80 hours. And then we can get exactly the consumption of the actual kill car of the customer with the new one that we propose. And of course, the results are the, the a much more efficient efficiency kill car and a total energy consumption less. 
Those are the graphics and the graphics that show the savings on a cycle of 17 hours. Then, the other challenge of the customers, durability. How we do it? Again, with the combination of our products, extruded press, and then we propose according the cycle conditions of the customer, the cycle kill conditions. For facilities with less of 24 hours, with facilities of more than 40 hour cycles, and with kills that have a, a, a very aggressive atmosphere. Okay, how we go with these challenges? Um, the durability on, on kills with less of 24 hours are focused mainly in to provide a top solution with the smallest reversible dilatation. Okay, the reversible dilatation is the principal factor to have cracks in, in kills with less of 24 hours. Then we have qualities, as you can see, press and extruded qualities in point one with 0.3 percent of reversible dilatation. This is the lowest reversible dilatation on the market with corderite products. And then we have those products pressed and extruded with 0.3 reversible dilatation. On the second point with installations with more than 40 hours, we have high mechanical strength refractories. As you can see here, we have uh, refractories, corderite molite press refractories up to 400, five, uh, 450 kilograms square centimeter mechanical resistance. Huge one, okay? Of course, we have machinery, test machinery for the thermal shock, for the mechanical strength test. The third point, um, facilities with aggressive atmospheres. Here we have press and extruded products with low porosity, 80% porosity versus 24, 26, but also low porosity with a very low reversible dilatation, 0.3%, very important. We decrease the porosity, but we maintain the reversible dilatation characteristics. That's very important. And then we also have products uh, with paintings and a special products with zirconium paintings and so on that this meets the uh, chemical attacks. Okay. This is a, a full example of our top uh, quality with the lowest uh, reversible dilatation. This is the Aircore Super, a top extrusion quality uh, for applications more than 1100 degrees, 1200 degrees, used use in many aggressive markets that we get excellent core, excellent behavior with only 0.28 dilatation reversible, the lowest on the market with a crystallographic analysis giving us more than 43% quarter case. Very important. All that is validated for the Institute of Ceramic of Technology, you can see. Then for, more, um, for kilos of more than 40 hours, we have top mechanical tests like creep and deformation that we maintain at 1200 degrees during 24, 25 hours, the high temperature, and we check the very low deformation. This is the most aggressive test that you can do it, creep test. Maintain 1200 degrees during 25 hours and having one of the lowest deformations. And for aggressive atmospheres, we have uh, a program, the fast data, to create new formulations exactly adapted to the contaminations of the cotton. Very interesting. Okay, uh, the other challenge, increased productivity and optimization of the maintenance. How we do it easily? We decrease the height of the refractory lining of the kill car, and then the customer can put another row of bricks. Here you have the sample. We decrease the height of the refractory. We maintain, okay, the cool, uh, the good uh, thermal conditions to not get a lot of temperature under the kill car and the chassis. And then the customer can put another row of bricks. And also for optimization, optimization the maintenance, we have very few items per kill car. We try to, to have a few items to, uh, on the kill car for the customer, just not uh, ask for 40 items. We propose to him to, to have less items per kill car and then it's more easy the maintenance. Okay, our proposals for structural ceramics for kill cars. We have all these technologies. As, a, as I, I was telling you before, we make press and extrusion. We have machines for press and extrusion. Then we can make from a full press kill car 
to mix skill class uh, mixing press and extrusion and also a proposal without deck platform skill class the main difference between extrusion and press here you have discharge but for being um, quick the main point is that extrusion has two red points a weak mechanical strength and a weak impact resistance but has a green point that is much more insulating product okay energy savings the press product has two green points that is better mechanical strength behavior and more impact resistant behavior but has more consumption on energy insulating and that's why we we combinate all that to get the optimal kick for our customers from the all press kill card that you can see here to get uh, uh, for uh, for kills and factories that make uh, a payload of more of 2500 kilograms then we start to introduce the extrusion like dips dpx kill car we start to introduce the, uh, the extrusion on the perimetrals but the slabs all press of course for, to get maximal maximal resistance and for um for green charge without the hole blocks then we start to introduce extrusion here you can see the mixed skill car excellent behavior for uh, 1800 kilograms uh, square meter charge and we start to introduce uh, extrusion um, um, under the drag hole blocks and of course we have the full uh, extrusion kill car okay that you can see that maximum weight is is lower we go from the top of the press to the to the lowest and uh, we have also the the kill car without play the deck that's very interesting because it's the most energy efficient one of course it's for a maximum charge of 1500 kilograms but uh, energy and the energy sense is the the most efficient one okay and this is the charge that we we we, we have done in these years to get these results according to the different cycles of the customer you can get on a 20 hour cycle kill from the top kill car that is the full press btp to the bnt without dead blocks you can get until 35 percent of energy savings on the kill car that in some conditions with the customers at the end of the result is a four five six seven percent total energy savings on the on the on the fuel bill whatever is gas or whatever okay discharge is very important for us because with that we can focus on energy savings with different technologies of um, kill gas then we have also proposals for sanitary and porcelain we show you that because it's very interesting that we have qualities lightweight carbonate qualities that work at 1300 degrees and 1400 degrees for sanitary and porcelain and are lightweight cordite. As you can see, this lightweight cordite go, go from 1.1 density to 1.45. Excellent behaviors with a thermal shock resistance of more of 90 cycles on water. This is a top quality material, lightweight cordite, that uh, we, we bring these qualities of porcelain and sanitary to the heavy clay sector, having lightweight uh, press cordite and lightweight uh, extruded cordite also. Very interesting. Them reference, those are our top reference worldwide. You know many of them, Agme, Porterra, Ipstock, Meridian, Berger, Terrell, well, and many others. We are uh, we have more than 400 installations worldwide across the five, the five continents with uh, delegations, agents, and also uh, take the personnel uh, going everywhere, whatever it's needed. Those are some photos. We make also ceilings, walls, and here you have uh, different kill cars, uh, side car, uh, side fighting kill cars, uh, sanitary kill cars, H tiles kill cars, all kind of kill cars we have done in these last uh, last 40, 40 years making kill cars and more than 66 years on the on the sector. Well, this is my presentation. It's a pleasure to be here again. Any requirements or questions, we are on or both, or you can contact me directly to my email. And thank you very much for your attention. It has been a pleasure to be here another time. Thank you very much.